Welcome back to the four. Here at Nine and Ten News, we take a lot of pride in telling your stories. Sometimes that's on air, like here on the four, or over on Nine and Ten News.com. And we're starting a new series to bring your stories to life. Our digital reporter, Livia Fellows, has just launched a new series called Northern Michigan Voices. And she's here to talk about what kind of stories you all are sharing with her. Welcome to the show, Olivia. Thanks so much for having me, Eric. I'm really excited to talk about the series. So before we jump into that, because there's so much to go over, I'd love to share a little bit of your story with the audience. Tell us a little about how you got here with us at 9 and 10. Absolutely. So I am a Northern Michigan native from Traverse City, Leelanau County area, and uh, went to Grand Valley State University for my undergrad, worked at the Pioneer newspaper in Big Rapids for about three and a half years, and found that I just wanted something a little bit different than uh, print media, and have been really excited to join the team uh, and do a lot of digital work and get started on projects like this. Lots and lots and lots of digital work. She does a lot and lot of digital work. <laughs> she completely undersold herself. You're fantastic work well, like you. already here. Now, this new series we are all incredibly excited about. What an opportunity to connect with our communities and our viewers. Absolutely. So, what was that moment that jump started this idea in your head? What was that catalyst that m made you think to yourself we, I got I got to make a series sharing these stories. Yeah, so uh, one of the things that I'm most passionate about and, and did a lot of work uh, in my previous job is just connecting with uh, those that I interviewed. And I found that uh, the people in northern Michigan are just so passionate. And Fact. it seems like... Fact. In media today, there are so many stories out there, but you don't often hear from those people directly that live in your state. And one of the things that I'm really excited about with this series is the variety of stories that we're oh, going to yeah. get from this. I think it's going to be a great opportunity to showcase some really unique voices. And the best part about it is they're telling the story themselves. Now, we've already gotten a lot of submissions for this because, as you just said, us here in Northern Michigan, we have stories to tell, and you've given them a platform to do exactly that. So what kind of stories have you been hearing from the public? Absolutely. So our first story actually just came out. Uh, we interviewed Jamie Wheeler, a Traverse City native, who had the experience through her indigenous tribe to hunt an over 600-pound elk in the UP. Wow. And it was pretty incredible to hear that, that story. That is a huge yes. elk. Really big. Whoa. And you can see it right there. Yes, massive, big horns, too. Wow. Now, or antlers, I guess I should now, say. <laughs> now, people can almost follow her journey to this because it, again, through the tribe. So it has, it's very specific who can hunt these animals. Yes, absolutely. So um, it's, it's a tag system. So oh, you get okay. chosen based on um, the, the number of submissions that they have for people that want to hunt these animals. And in addition to this elk, she was able to hunt a black bear as well this year. Gotcha. Now, we have more stories, such as a pilot rescue. Tell us a little bit about this one. Yes, absolutely. So Donald McIntyre, who's uh, known as Mac by many, he uh, shared his story of being a rescue swimmer and a rescue pilot for the oh, United wow. States Coast Guard and had some absolutely riveting stories, including saving the life of two children, finding them safe, and also what it's like to be in that helicopter and pulling those individuals to safety. And it's so, so very important that we are shining a spotlight on people just like Mac because he is out there every day risking his life to make our lives here in Michigan a little bit better. And most of the time that goes unheard that is why this series is so important. Absolutely. And one of my favorite aspects of it is he's retired now, but is still very active in the veteran oh, community. I and I always love showcasing uh, retired veterans, cur those currently serving. And I think appreciating our military is such an important thing. So I was so excited Service. to tell his story. Service and wait, never ends. Wait till you see the photos on that ah, one. There, there are some really so unique good. photos. So. And service never ends. And people who make it their passion to serve the community, even when retired, they find other ways. Absolutely. <laughs> now we've got one more story to share. 
Yes, so uh, just recently, and we're still working on this story, but it'll be coming out in the next uh, couple weeks, I interviewed Big Rapids couple Katie and Ben Brooks who shared their really, really beautiful story of love and perseverance in their infertility journey and oh. child loss journey. Oh. And I'm really excited to share their story with you because it, it just... It will, it will tug at your heartstrings what they went through. And they also shared with me some really important aspects of what it was like clinically going through that yeah. and everything that they had to face to become a family and, and begin this journey of parenthood. The courage that they must have just to share that story. Yes, yes. I was honored to tell it, wow. so I'm really excited for that one to come out. This is so exciting, Olivia. Where can people stay up to date, of course, 9 newscom but is there a specific area on the website they should go to if they want to make sure that every time you release a new segment for this, they get notified? Absolutely. So if you would like to nominate an individual for an interview with me to share on uh, this series page, you can reach out to me directly at oliviafellows at 910mediagroup.com or you can send an email to news at 910media.com and I will reach out to you. We will set up a time to speak and uh, you're also welcome to send me your own story pitches yeah. and I'm just really excited to connect with more Northern Michigan residents and be able to share your stories. And there's so many people here in Northern Michigan doing good things and we want to celebrate you. Olivia, thank you so much for sitting down. Thanks so much today. for really giving me the time, Eric. You. I'm really excited about this. Thank we're, you. We're all incredibly excited. Now